guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. If you are new here and the name of my channel is Indie Boo. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a full face makeup tutorial using KRY's products. So everything I'm using minus the brow product is KRY's for this whole entire look. Um, I did do a poll on Instagram to see if you guys would prefer seeing Fit Glow or KRY's. Fit Glow actually won by a hair. I'm going to be doing a full face of them soon, but I decided to do this one because I got a 15% off coupon for anything in the store except the Mae Lindstrom Honey Mask, of course, from Citrine's Beauty Bar in Phoenix. And they have an online store. I'll link them down below. And so I just got a bunch of this stuff. It was like a birthday present to myself. I've been trying out a lot of it for a while and I just thought it was time to do a full face and give my review and give my opinions because if anyone didn't know, my birthday was back in December. And yeah, I'm just ready to kind of talk about everything. And some of the things I've talked about already, like the powder and the foundation and other videos. So I'll link those videos down below as well. So if you're really curious about like an individual product, I have individual reviews for some of them or like grouped reviews for some of them too. So yeah, let's just roll into this makeup look and please subscribe for tomorrow where I will be talking about everything in depth. So you're just aware of when that video goes up. Um, the thing was, it was actually kind of hard for me to do this tutorial because I'm so used to giving my thoughts along the way, but I didn't want this to be a 40 minute video. So I decided to break it into part tutorial, part thoughts. So yeah, let's roll in. Okay guys. So we're going to start out with the Kiara Wise, the beautiful oil. And I'm just going to, I just got a sample of this. I just dotted that into my hand. And now I'm just going to press this into my skin. This is prepping for the foundation. Um, the foundation is a very thick cream. So unless you have super oily skin, I would highly recommend putting on an oil before the foundation. Okay guys, so now we're using the KRY's foundation. The, I'm in shade Lightness. Um, this is a cream foundation and yeah, I've obviously hit pan on this. It matches me pretty dang well. So I'm using this as a concealer under my eye and as a foundation. Just dotting it in. Using my finger also. Like I don't, I've tried that. I just didn't like it as much with my brush just doing that. I'll just kind of show you all. It's okay, but I feel like I get fuller coverage if I use my finger to apply it first. And now I'm just buffing this into my skin in circular motions. I also put this on my eyelids um, just to prime my lids. So it's kind of like an all in one thing. So just to set everything and yes, I did keep everything in the, their boxes because these are actually really beautiful boxes as well as the packaging. Um, to set all of that, we're going to use the Carewise powder it's just their translucent pressed powder it works very well with this foundation i'll say that because the foundation is so thick that it fills in my pores really easily so all i really need is something to set my under eye so it doesn't crease and brighten under my eyes a little bit so i don't put this on my whole face and set everything i just put it in the areas that i have the most oil and then i do Put it on my eyelid where I have primed my lids. So I have the Radiance Highlight and then I can't remember the name of the blush that I got. I'll have it everything listed down below so check that out there. I just don't remember the name of the blush. Um, and I'm going to take my finger. I really like this brand because it's a lot of finger work so you don't need a ton of brushes. And I'm just going to put very very lightly right underneath my eye right on my cheekbone. This is very highly pigmented. Okay, and then I'm going to use the Radiance, sorry, that's blinding. So I'm going to use the Radiance highlight now above, below my cheekbone and along my nose. So again, finger. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit above the highest point of my brows like where the light would hit my brows. 
or the light would hit like the bone of my brow. I'm just going to brush my brows out. Leaving them pretty natural today. I'm going to fill in. I have like one spot right here. I have the plume. It's their Golden Silk Plume Nourish and Define Pomade. This part has like a bald looking spot. There is hair there, but it's just so blonde. So. Okay, and I'm just going to put some on this side as well just so things are a little bit symmetrical so i'm not applying it to the first half of my brows just like the three-fourths back i think it just makes it look the most natural i'm not all i don't like usually go for instagram brows it's more like reagan everyday brows Okay, so now I have a couple of things that I'm going to be using for my eyes. So I have these two eyeshadows. Again, don't remember the shade, but I'll have it down below. One's a light pink color, and then one is like a caramel brown. And then I also have a sample of the Carewise Bronzer and Dazzling. So I'm going to use this. I actually haven't used this. I've used it as a bronzer a couple times. I'm just not a huge bronzer wearer, um, especially this one is not... A matte bronzer it is a little bit shimmery so I think it's just better suited for my eyes than for my just how I like to wear bronzer on my skin So I've already primed my eyes and everything um, what I'm going to do is go in I'm using <laughs> eco tools brush kind of funny right eco tools and care wise um, and I'm just going to take the brown color Put it in my crease. This isn't really intended to be a crease brush, but you'll see the method to my madness. And then rub this all the way down and then stop a little bit above my lash line. And now I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just blend that out. So I was more using that brush to get the pigment right where I wanted it. And I am going to take this a little bit to my lower lash line very lightly so it's kind of a nice smoky eye okay just same thing other side okay and now I'm using this lighter pink color along my lash line okay now's where the party starts so I'm going to take the bronzer just a little little bit like seriously like a dot and apply it to the back half just dotting it in of my lid so this is a really light look it is almost spring so i wanted something a little bit lighter than like a really heavy deep smoky eye so that's what i was thinking along the lines of this so we are going to line my eyes with the carewise eyeliner these are a newer product this is the eye pencil in brown so i am going to go into my waterline on the top and tight line and then I used a tiny bit of this three-fourths of the way out on my lower lash line. So I used it on my waterline and then a tiny little bit on my lash line just right along here. And it's a little bit smudged. It's not perfect, which that's kind of what I was going for. And I'm going to do the same thing on my upper lash line. Just a little bit. Um, kind of smudged. I'm not going for like a perfect line with this look. Okay, now I'm curling my lashes with the plume. I'm going to do a whole review about this. This is their lash curler. It's really good to say the least. And now we're using the mascara. So I did a review of this too. I'll link things that I've already talked about down below. Okay, and using the lip pencil in what shade did I get? Rose. Just gonna line my lips. Okay, and then using the shade Honor of their lipstick. Alrighty, guys, so this is the final look using all of the Kiara Wise products. So please subscribe and stay tuned for my video tomorrow where I'll be talking about all of these, which ones were my favorites, which ones I just 
don't like that much and wouldn't repurchase. And let me know what you think of this look down below. Um, yeah, and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.